Okay, now the tail. I'm going to part the tail too to begin with. If their hair is long enough. If it's a puppy or a pet, you may not necessarily have to do this depending on how long you're keeping the coat. Little girl. It's okay. Okay, now I was always shown a couple of different ways to do it, and you might want to do both. Your hair is parted down the. <laughs> Quit wiggling your tail, Sarah. You should try to do this when she's in the season. It's hilarious. It's play catch the tail. Okay, you want it to blend. There's a tip of her tail on a bit of an angle. And again, with the thinning scissors, you want it to look natural. So you can find the tip of their tail, and you can go on a bit of an angle. <laughs> Just moving your tail. I take thinning scissors, different thinning scissors. I'm trying not to cut my fingers off. Do that on both sides, and again, do a little bit at a time. You can always take more off. And make sure you're going out at an angle. Now, another way that you can do this, or you can do it both ways, is to part the hair down the middle. And all right, Sarah, you're going to cooperate. Pinch it between your fingers. So you're tight, and then you're going to pull your hand up because you want the hair closest to the body longer than the tip. I'm not going to do the very tip right now because I'll show you a different something to look for in that. Okay, so you're just going to trim off the tail, the long <laughs> stuff. Now the tail, the stuff hanging over top is usually smoother, so you're going to hold that up a little bit. If you need to take some length off the tail, and you maybe take off a little bit of the underside if it's too bulby at the end of the tail. She has a bit of a curve to her tail, or a curl to her hair tail, and then you can hold that down and trim off a little bit. Like I say, just keep playing with it until you get the look you want. Some people like it quite short. All right, with your regular scissors, I'm going to hold the tail up, find your little bum, and you're going to trim just a little bit, not super close, because if they pucker, you'll get them. And you're just going to clean up a little bit of the hair around their butt so they don't get little dingle balls. It's okay, I know. Can I tickle on you? So this hair just blends into the <laughs> moving the tail, Sarah. Okay, and she needs a little bit more because it's, it's flipping up here, but that's okay. I'll keep trimming. I use a mm, knitting needle when I'm making my part. You just do a little bit at a time. I'm going to do this probably a gazillion times when you're showing your dog. Because they shake and it all goes to heck. Anyway, that's how you can do a part once they get enough hair. Okay, and that's the tail.